Vimeo offers robust privacy controls to help you manage who can see, access, and interact with your videos. In this video, we'll focus on how to control who can see your videos outside of your team, whether that's clients, partners, or the general public. When you're thinking about your video's privacy, you'll want to consider the following. Link privacy, embed privacy, and download privacy. To access your video's privacy settings, just head to the privacy settings area. All right, let's start with link privacy. Link privacy is just what it sounds like. It controls who can view your video via its direct URL. You've got a bunch of options. Public means that your video can be viewed by anyone on the internet. It will be visible on your public Vimeo profile as well as via public search on Vimeo.com. This is a great option when you want your video to get as many views as possible by as many people as possible. Keep public comments enabled if you want to allow the public to leave comments on your video that are visible to anyone. If you want to make it so that viewers can't see comments, make sure to disable them. Private is the exact opposite. This is the most restrictive option, making the video visible only to you and specific team members on your Vimeo account who've been given access to the folder where the video lives. The password option is also restrictive. You set a unique password and only people who know it can access your video. This is a solid option for when a specific person or group of people is meant to see the content, but no one else, especially when the intended audience members aren't team members on your Vimeo account. Hide from Vimeo. This hides your video from the publicly facing Vimeo website altogether. It can't be viewed via URL by anyone not on your team, and it won't show up on your public Vimeo.com page, although the public can see it when it's embedded. Anyone on your team can still see the video within your shared video library as long as they're logged in. Unlisted is similar. It hides your video from your public Vimeo.com profile page, but anyone with the direct link to the video can view it. Just a note, using the password option hide from Vimeo and unlisted does require a paid Vimeo account. If you want to be able to change the privacy settings of multiple videos in a folder in bulk, you can do that. Just go into the folder and select which videos you want to change the privacy for. Then change the privacy setting. Done. All right, on to embed privacy. Embed privacy determines where your video can be embedded on other websites. You've got three options. Anywhere. This means anyone can embed your video on any website. Like setting a video's privacy to public, this is your best option when you want as many eyes on your video as possible. Nowhere is the exact opposite. No one, including you and your team members, can embed the video anywhere. It will only be viewable on Vimeo.com. And as long as you're on a paid Vimeo account, specific domains allows you to specify which websites your video can be embedded on. Keep in mind that the video's link privacy, as just described in the previous section, still comes into play when embedding. For example, videos set to public, hide from Vimeo, and unlisted all allow for seamless embedding. However, if you've chosen private for the video's link privacy, then only people on your team who have access to the video inside your Vimeo account will be able to watch the video when it's embedded. Similarly, if you've set a password on the video's link, viewers will only be able to watch the embedded video once they've entered the video's password. All right, on to your video's download privacy and deciding whether to allow your video to be added to showcases. If you enable downloads, anyone with access to the link will have the ability to download the video. Keep in mind that this does require a paid Vimeo account. Disabling downloads prevents anyone from outside your team from downloading the video. Team members will still be able to download as long as they have access to the video in your team's permissions settings. The good news with privacy settings is that you don't need to set them manually every single time you upload a video. Vimeo account owners can set up defaults. This means that any future video uploaded to the account will automatically have your preferred settings. You can even set this retroactively to all the existing videos on your account, but beware, this can't be undone. Keep in mind, the default settings on this page are just that, defaults. For future uploads, these settings can be overridden simply by customizing the video's privacy settings when you upload. If you're on an enterprise plan, however, you can choose to prohibit public sharing on your account as a whole. That means even future uploads can't be made public. All right, that's it. You're ready to tailor you can see, access, and interact with your videos. 